They lost some good players from last year's team, but they have guys who should be able to do a better job than they have. Pressure comes. DeVito is going to go down. So that time they could not protect their quarterback, and a very promising start with a big drop for Syracuse is going to end up with a punt. Brings pressure, and that's not something you see him do a lot. They'll rush with four, but you see Johnson here. Just, I mean, really, that's called a jailbreak. As well as just about anybody, they'll just rush four on third and nine, and they get there anyway. Man. So that is the problem for Syracuse. It's been the problem all game long. They did not blitz. They just rushed their four down linemen. And Adams in the backfield alongside DeVito. He's going to throw the ball. He looks one way, had nobody there, and now he takes a sack. And in this part of the field, that's not supposed to happen. Well, there goes that confidence I was talking about. Should have kept there and brought it out the backside. So now from the shotgun and from the end zone, DeVito steps up. Going to try to run and get away. Cannot. Tripped up and tackled. Right near the line of scrimmage, third and long coming up. Well, DeVito, that was not a perfect snap. They pressure in the end zone. DeVito just gets out of the end zone, takes another sack. Second and ten. I don't know how much you can read into that. DeVito's on the sideline. He's got his helmet on, and Welch is going to be overwhelmed. They set extra rushers, and it doesn't matter who the quarterback is for Syracuse. They're getting to him. That's huge. Three. Goes backwards, it goes down. Well, if you had to draw up the nightmare start to the second half for Syracuse, that's it. Deslin Alexander, the sophomore. There's still a long way to go. Pitt just felt totally in control of this game. Now some pressure comes. Welch steps up and gets spun around and goes down. So there's the sack for the Pitt defense. Back out toward borderline field goal range.